Hi, I'm Ralph. Welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe, we are talking about a spiral sliced ham with a special honey brown sugar glaze. I've got Easter coming up just around the corner here, just a couple weeks away. And it's also great for Christmas, Thanksgiving, any other holiday. Maybe you're having company over. Maybe you just like ham. This is gonna work great. And this is like super, super, super easy. I went to Kroger, did some shopping. This ham normally sells for $25.65. And I got it for $7.13. Having a large piece of meat does not necessarily always mean that you have to spend an arm and a leg. Sometimes you find some really good deals at the store. Now I've had my oven preheated to 275 degrees. I've got it sitting in the, the roasting pan. We're gonna put it in the oven. It's going to be in there for about three hours, but at about the two and a half hour point, we are going to start to put the glaze on. So as soon as I put this into the oven, I'm going to show you how to make that glaze. So let's get started on that. Come on over here. Join me at the cooktop. How's that? Perfect. Okay, I've got about three quarters of a cup of honey in here. Gonna turn the heat up a little bit here, but not a lot. Just gonna put it on kind of low. I'm gonna add six tablespoons of butter to this. Addition to that, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. And as you can see, I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. I don't actually have my real measuring spoons here. Maybe it's because I just happen to like brown sugar and I know that this is going to be going a little bit heavy. Now I'm using a glass pot for this and there's a reason for that. I'm making this up early because I've just put the ham into the oven, obviously. And it's not going to be ready for this for quite a while. So I am going to make this up so that it's going to be easy to reheat, even if I'm just reheating it in the microwave. And with the glass cookware here, I don't have to worry about that. I can do that. But if you want to make it up early, you don't want to put it into the microwave or you don't have a microwave safe dish for doing this, just reheat it back up on the uh, cooktop here. Now this is only going to take a couple of moments. As you can see, it's already starting to go together quite nicely. You can see that brown sugar is already mixed in with the honey. That butter is just going to make it a little bit thinner. Now the trick is when you put it on the ham, you can put it on pretty thin, but if you like a little bit thicker coating, after you heat this up, just let it set for maybe five minutes. It'll thicken up. And then you can just kind of put the glaze on in its thicker form. This is a super, super simple recipe. Today's video should be pretty short. That's all there is to it to the sauce. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. I'll get back with you when it's ready to come out of the oven. See you soon. Okay, I've just taken the ham out of the oven. It's still got another 30 minutes to go, but now it's time to baste it. So we've got that mixture that we made up earlier, and you just want to slather it on all the way around. And when we're done with this, we're going to be sticking it back into the oven, uncovered for another 30 minutes. I'm going to put it back in, be back shortly. Okay, we are back and I have just pulled the ham out of the oven. I'm going to add a little bit more of the sauce to it and then we're going to try it out. I'm going to try to separate these a little bit so it, it slathers on down in between the, the slices here a little bit because we want to get that goodness into every bite. Let's slice some of this off. A 
Let's see how this turned out. Hmm. That's really good. And I would save some of this because that is really good dipping sauce. Hmm. Your family, your guest, they're really going to enjoy this. Or maybe you just like ham and you do it on a weeknight. Your whole family is going to enjoy this. Trust me. With that said, give me a like down below, leave me some comments, maybe a subscription, and I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.